Hello everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Geometry Node Stuff. So today, or well, two days ago, uh, a new node was added to Geometry Nodes, which is very exciting. It is the import uh, CSV uh, node, which if you don't know, uh, CSV is for comma separated values, which basically means that uh, we are able to import generic data into Blender directly without any add-ons or anything like that, which is very cool. As we can see here, I've gotten some nice open source data for all the airports in the world and put them into here. So the way that works is that uh, you'll have just a file of plain text that has rows and columns where the data is labeled. In this case, we can see uh, all this data, like the city, latitude, longitude, and all that cool stuff, the elevation. And uh, with this new node, it'll go and import it directly into Blender. And it's very good. Um, there are a few caveats, though. Uh, the first thing that I've noticed is that uh, it likes to cut off the last character of every single row. As we can see here, these have quotes for all of the data, but at the last part right here, it cuts that off. And it does it for all the data down here as well, all the numbers. Uh, so there, there are a few bugs. It has crashed on me quite a few times. But I just wanted to let people know that it's happening because uh, people been uh, people recently asked me how to handle that kind of data inside of geometry nodes. So it's very good to have a very generic form of getting data into geo nodes. Uh, there are some other things I should mention. If quite often with um, comma separated values, they like to put quotation marks over everything. So as we can see here, all the attribute names have quotation marks, which I don't think they're necessary for the uh, column headers. But if there are quotation marks for any of the numbers and stuff like that, Blender won't know how to handle it and it just won't read the file, at least with this current version. Again, this is very early, Blender 3.5. It literally got merged two days ago. Um, but yeah. If there are quotation marks, it won't read the data, and it only reads integers and floats, which is perfectly fine. But if those integers or floats are inside of quotation marks, it just won't read it. If any of the first column is invalid, it just won't read the file. It'll just say the data is invalid and then go along its merry way. Uh, so in most cases, I've gone into the files and I've just put in 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 or 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, just so that the data will read. And if it's invalid, it'll just put out 0. So if there's invalid data, we'll just go and say 0. And then uh, one thing that we'll see, actually, can I, do I dare try to show this? This will lag. Uh, but... It'll give you a warning for every single incorrect column, which in this case is 200,000 warnings. Wait, 200,000? Oh, yeah, that makes sense because we have more than that. But in here we have um, 28,000 data points. So, and a lot of invalid data because all the data you're seeing here that's a zero is probably a string and Blender does not, or geometry nodes cannot handle string data. So all of this is uh, not valid. So it'll all come out as zero, but again, I replaced all the beginning data with one so that it'll allow the file to be read, which is a little annoying, but it is what it is. So yeah, in this case, I got all of the airport data, just put the elevation, latitude, and longitude, did a little bit of vector math to make it into a sphere. So now here are all of the uh, airports in the world, which is very cool. There is a little, okay. I'm just going over all the quirks so that if you download this, you'll know them. But here I'm going to go and download or get the data into here. Let me just uh, use the be right back screen to go and get that. I'm going to go and try to import the airport data directly into this point cloud object. And we should see that will just say uh, it can't import it, which is weird because it works on meshes, but for some reason is not working on the point cloud. So I think this, it'll probably all get fixed as it's being developed, but again, if you're looking to do this now, just be aware that it is quite buggy. But let's go and have some fun. So I downloaded quite a few uh, just data points out there, and one of them was a ton of turtles, uh, their sizes and stuff like that. So let me go and get that. I'll use the be right back screen once again to actually get the file path. 
import. Let's see. There we go. Let's go and get the turtles. Do 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 do. Let's go to turtles. So it's I, in classic Ben fashion. Okay, good. It updated. Uh, in classic Ben fashion, I was thinking. Oh wait, can't. What did I screw up? It's a plane, so it should be. A, wait a second, everyone. I need to go, and fix the data. So. Please bear with me while I go and check what's wrong with the turtle data. Let's see, 010101, yeah, that's all fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, no, it should read. Hmm. Should definitely read. Again, the first column is prone to... Not open file. Why can't it? Is it because? No, it can't be because it's open in another program. I had this file working a second ago, so I'm not entirely sure why it's not anymore. Maybe it's because there's spaces in there, which is causing the data to be invalid. So I'm just going to go and try to do that. And once... Oh, dang it. Sorry, everyone. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll just do another one just in case. Hmm. Well, I'll get a different data set just to make sure. Okay. Let's go and get the snakes count. And that data is not reading. Okay. Something's up. Anyway, okay. Let's get off of the be right back screen real quick. So yeah, for some reason the data isn't reading anymore. Maybe I, I screwed something up in the meantime. But yeah. So is this official 4.5 alpha or just a branch? It is the official main version of 4.5, which I'm very surprised by that they just merged it immediately. But uh, I'm very happy about it because that means that, well, it's actually going to be in there. We don't have to worry if uh, it will be delayed because it's currently in there. You can make a custom model file with this by having a list of tries and the vertices and positions. Yes, even though that feels a little bit hacky, well, <laughs> I was thinking, oh, how could we exploit this to our benefit? And I was like, oh, wait, we can go and store because, okay, this is very dumb, but since the import nodes, at least, oh, wait, I don't think this is experimental. Yeah, because the FBX nodes, FBX, yeah, no, those aren't enabled. So this isn't even experimental. It's just in here. Uh, but you could have the data path, and then with the like join string node, you can go and set in the value to string. Again, I'm thinking about how to exploit this, even though I wouldn't recommend it. If you're at this point, then just use the proper ways, like an Alembic or a USD. Don't try to do this. But you could say, hey, go through the list of files just with this, and it would, in theory, work. But I would imagine it would be a little bit not great. So in theory, you could have just an animation with all the vertice data for each file and then just bring that into there. Or you could stack it all into one file and then just go through the list. But then again, you would have to convert, since vectors are not supported, you would have to go through every single one and combine these into vectors. So, you know, don't it, use it for the proper methods first, and if anything else gets supported, that's that's good. But yeah, don't get too ambitious. <laughs> but yes, now just importing data. I remember a long time ago, uh, a Houdini tutorial did something like this, or maybe it was another program. But now seeing that we're getting that functionality in Blender, it's very, very cool. All right, I think that's pretty much it. I will try once again to uh, import some new data because I'm really confused that the airport data worked. So I, oh, is it that I'm trying to read two files at once? That may be a reason. Do, do I have a... Okay, so another piece of data that I imported in this case is, oh wait, that's a different thing, uh, 100,000 data points of names, ages, countries, emails, phones, and all that kind of stuff. 
now in salary, but as we can see, the Y gets cut off because of what I'm assuming is a bug with the node. Um, but yeah, we have all that data and we're only getting the numbers. And I think this data set is purely randomized because I'm seeing absolutely no discernible, uh, discernible pattern with all this. But it is very interesting. So in this case, or I could try... We try to compare the salaries with the age and we can see in this case that the attribute names are not in quotation marks let's set you to be you and what's the data okay the data the data is okay so let's take a look know where to go uh oh yeah that should be correct we get that and that where did it go Actually, wait, is this local view? I'm just... Oh, oh wait, it's too big, that's why. It was way too big, and that's what happened. Okay, so let's go and divide the salary, sal salary range from that. Let's scale down by 0 0.01. So in this case, let's use a... Scale node. Oh, the menu changed. I was wondering why my muscle memory was all messed up. It's everything's now vertical. I saw something about that a long time ago, or maybe a few weeks ago. Okay, let's go and divide this so that we can see. There we go. Uh, and the salaries are also randomized. I think this is a uh, synthetic data set. It was a sample, so I would assume that. Okay, let's go and try something else. So let's go and set this back to the age range, and so that to be that. And again, this is for data visualization and all that cool stuff. How did that change? Okay, never mind. Uh, let's go to here and try to import the turtle data once again. Because maybe since it's trying to import two files at the same time is why it did that. Uh, import. Oh no, the okay. The OBJ, POI, and STL imp imports are there. I don't know why they didn't. FBX. Oh no, there is no FBX. Okay, wait. There's the import that OBJ, PLY. Okay, so this is experimental. Okay, I had that wrong. There's just no import FBX. We're still on the be right back screen. Don't worry, everyone. Experimental. Yeah, the new file import nodes. So, uh, yeah, maybe that is experimental. Okay. So, there's no guarantee that this will be in uh, 4.3. Whoops, I do actually import the data. Well, I could try importing the hurricane data, but there's only like 10 things in there. Let's go with turtles again. Maybe turtles are not working. Why are the turtles not working? One second, everyone. I'm going to try to really edit this data set to make it actually work. There's one, 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 one. That seems to be good. Hmm. One, 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 one. Okay, we'll just leave that for the time being. Let's use the snake data set, and that's not working either. Hmm. I don't know why the other ones aren't working. They worked right before I started the stream. Oh, well. Okay, so these are experimental. Yep. Okay, so I think I'll leave the stream there. Again, just a quick one to showcase a new feature that is being worked on. Again... Uh, it's experimental. That was a um, that was a misunderstanding on my part, but it's very cool that we might be getting some of this in the future. But yeah, it is pretty buggy. Okay, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.